Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's hairstyle. Yeah, I don't know. There we go, yeah. Anyway, so, um, I'm gonna be turning my second day hair, thinning hair, into a voluminous, beautiful thing with no heat. So, if you'd like to see how I do this and what products I use, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do uploaded a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be hair, skincare, makeup, fragrance. I do the whole entire gambit. I just do it all. So make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page. That way you can come back and watch whenever you would like to. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love getting to know you, so come hang out, come chat with me. I'd love to chat with you. Okay, so it's like 10 o'clock on a Saturday. I've already bleached the bathroom. I need to vacuum, stuff like that. But um, Sean and I are gonna be going out a little bit later. We just kind of walk around town and window shop and stuff like that. So um, I took a shower last night, but I did not wash my hair. I've been trying to be better at that. But as you can see, my hair is looking a little bit greasy and separated up here. And my hair has been thinning for a while, so I want to make it look full and voluptuous and like thick with no heat. So very first thing, I'm going to take out my bun, my little bun bun. Okay, so when I put my hair in a bun, it naturally just gives it some wave, which is perfect for this. Okay, so I'm actually not going to brush it. I'm going to take off my robe. It's cold today. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do, okay, is I'm going to be putting in some dry shampoo. So I've been reusing the Dove Refresh Plus Care Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. This is great, it's super affordable, and I've been liking it a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... So the place where you can really tell that my hair is getting oily or greasy and it's second day hair, it's around my ears. So like right here, especially where... It's thinning um, right up here okay so the thing with dry shampoo is you don't want to use too much um, too much dry shampoo can leave the hair looking very dry um, so I don't recommend that okay so what I'm gonna be doing while that kind of sits for a minute is I'm gonna be adding some oil to the ends because my ends are looking a little dry and crispy and crunchy. So I'm actually just going to be using some organic rosehip oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you do have. Um, you can also just use a, um, like a hair shining serum, whatever, whatever you got. You don't need to go out and buy something expensive. I'm just going to do just a bloop. Just a little bloop bloop. You don't need much. I rub my hands together so it's coated and I'm just going to kind of scrunch it in to the lower third. I don't want to go too high. It's going to just add some moisture back to my ends. Just make it a little bit, look a little bit nicer. So as you can see, it looks a little bit, I mean, those ends are still looking pretty crunchy. I'm just gonna do just a tiny bit more, just like a little finger full. I'm gonna just try to get those ends. <laughs> That's the problem with like combination hair is um, your scalp can get very oily, but then your ends are like straw. They're like super crunchy, so yeah. Sometimes it's a struggle bus, but that looks a, a lot better. Okay. There we go. Okay, so my ends are looking a little bit shinier and more healthy. So. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and rub in that dry shampoo. Um, you can definitely put dry shampoo in at like in the evening and sleep with it. I do that a lot. That just really helps to absorb a lot of excess oil. I'm just gonna do, see right here, my bang area. Just a little, just rub it in. Okay. 
So that's already helped a ton. My hair looks a lot fuller. Okay. So I'm gonna just grab my comb and I'm just gonna gently comb the outside layer. I don't wanna make it frizz too bad. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I got two kind of hair fillers. So I have a little sample of the Topic hair building fibers, okay, and then I also have the Clairol. This is the Root Touch Up. This is just kind of like a hair eyeshadow. I really like this stuff. I've been using it for a while. Um, I'll show you how both work. So... This Topics, okay, it's just a brown powder. So what I like to do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, gently, okay, and then I'll just gently rub it in. I'll just show you on both sides. So here is another area that gets pretty thin. And this stuff will stay until you shampoo, so it's nice, okay? So right here on my part. So again, it just kind of fills it in. So I just gently rub it in. So you can see a clump of it right here, so gently rub it in. Okay, so that's the Topics. It does a really, really good job at um, filling in those sparse areas that can make the hair look super thin. Um, so it already looks really, really good, but I'll show you what I use the clear off for. Love this stuff, and it's super affordable. So it comes with its own little brush. You just kind of dip it in. I like to use this for is these areas, okay? And you just basically just kind of paint it on. It's a powder. So you can just use your finger to kind of blend it a little bit better. But where you would naturally have those little baby hairs, also right here, where it looks a little thin. See how thin it looks right here? Let me get pretty close. This does come in different shades as well. And I'll just grab my finger and just gently kind of rub it and blend it in. You don't want it to look like you're using makeup to fill in the hair. You want it to look natural. Just gently get my fingers and gently rub it. So that way it just kind of blends it a little bit better. And you can just kind of finger style your hair any way you would like to. What's really nice about this is you can just really grab a lot and just really go in there and just really fill in those sparse areas. Just adds more, when you're filling in those, that scalp area where you can see skin, it just makes it look like it's actually filled with hair. You can definitely use eyeshadow, you don't have to buy anything special. I know a lot of people, they just use eyeshadow. This is basically an eyeshadow, so you don't have to go out and buy this. Okay, but um, my last thing is I'm going to do a zigzag part. This kind of can kind of help build or make it look like you have more volume. So just got this little thing right here and I'm just going to go ahead and just do a zigzag side part.
Okay, so pretty easy. You need minimal product. So the last thing I'm going to do after I get my hair smoothed out a little bit is I'm just going to use some hairspray. The hairspray is going to kind of not only help your style, but it's also going to help set all those powders, the topics and the Clairol. Um, that way it's not going to move throughout the day. They're both really good at not moving throughout the day, but you know, just in case. So what I like to do is I will just lift up a little bit of my hair and just give it a gentle spray. Okay, so all that powder is now going to be kind of set and held down by that hairspray. But you can definitely, I'm just going to fluff up, fluff up my, uh, my side bangs a little bit. But there you go, that's how easy it is to turn second day hair into something that's full and voluminous. I could totally just put my hair into a side pony. Just gonna still have some wave because of the bun. But no heat. You don't need to go out and buy anything expensive. You probably already have hairspray. You probably already have eyeshadow that you can use um, if your hair is thinning. Or if you just, if you need to correct your hairline a little bit. But it looks really natural just as long as you blend very, very well. So. Um, but that is it to turn second day hair into something that's full and voluminous, especially if your hair is thinning like mine. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will link everything down below for you. But once again, if you have eye eyeshadow that matches your hair color and hairspray and dry shampoo, you're pretty much set. Okay. Um, it will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't have to. If you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below what is some of the products you love to use on your second, third, fourth day hair. I would love to know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. I do have another channel. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. I upload on that one seven days a week as well. It's all about budget food, so recipes, shopping hauls, taste tests, snacks, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you do subscribe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly, or you can go ahead and click one of the ones I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.